Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to install an issue and fix the black screen error on recording. So the first step, we're gonna open up ipassigner.io as seen here on my browser. I'm doing the same on my iPhone. And then I click the install issue link on this page ipassigner.io. After this we confirm by clicking install. And now, if you're gonna go back on our springboard, we see right there the installation progress is already completed. And the next step, we have to go to our profile management on the settings page. I already have uh, accepted, trusted the Translang Room uh, applications. You will see they're there. They're from the same certificate Instagram and the so if you trust or already have it to Instagram Plus Plus, you don't have to redo this step. After that, we can go back to Airshoe and we have to do some uh, login stuff there. I am using my uh, Twitter account for this purpose. So I put in my name, real Mr. Patrick. You can follow me there. Put in my password, which you copy on the clipboard. Authorize. Now I'm logged in. And what you do now to record something is you hit your record, you pump up the resolution 1080p, you can change the orientation. I'm going for portrait, portrait mode. Then you go next step, access the microphone, totally fine. And now you have instruction to open up the airplay menu which I'm doing right now, and then you can connect to the issue. So what issue is, is doing is to simulate an AirPlay uh, service. So we have to connect to our AirPlay, and then I'm switching right now to my iOS screen. You see the app is recording. What we are also seeing right now is after we stop the recording, which I'm doing right now. So I can show it you back here on my desktop. And then we have a problem. If we're gonna go to our playback section, I see my test recording, which I record right now. And I'm hitting play. The only thing that we've seen is a black screen. But this can easily be fixed if we hitting open in. And then we have go to an application called iConf or Comboard. It basically works with other apps too, so if you're going to import with iConf, switching back, hit those kind of things, then we go to your TDD, and we are saying Convert. We're hitting the standard settings. This already finished, and now we go there. You see the screen changed. We can now play back our video right there, if you see me there. It's just a recording, I made some swiping gestures, and then I got back to my yes, to my ASU application, and then I hit the stop button. So guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope it helped you. Uh, please let me know if you're using ASU or if you use any other screen recorder on iOS. Uh, please don't forget that you don't need any chaser break or any crazy thing like that, it just works with this app from ipsound.io. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.